Hello and welcome, Leo. This is your March 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You are watching Thomas's Tower readings. Please like, subscribe, and share. It really helps the channel out so much. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, Leos, what we do here is we will divide your reading slightly <laughs> in three sections. Uh, just to make it easier to understand and to give messages. And these areas are, firstly, we will look at the overall energy for the month of March 2023 for the sign of Leo, before we then look at your emotional core. And that could be anything from whether or not there is healing that needs to uh, be happening, especially around the heart chakra, uh, whether there's love coming in, all these kind of things um, will be in that section before we then lastly move on to opportunities and opportunities for the most part will be about what sustains you financially or and or uh, emotionally um so let's see what's happening let's just dive right in um in your case i'm not drawn to my cards i'm drawn to my galaxy ball so um with no further ado leos here is the overall energy for the months of march 2023 for your very sign let's have a look Okay, Leos, first and foremost, in the month of March, what you really should try to achieve, <laughs> which, which an emphasis on trying, is to put everything that you do in a framework, right? So it's not so much about being in harmony all the time, because even if things are in a frame, it could still tilt. And it's not making things fit into your frame. It's understanding what is it that sits outside that imaginary frame, if you want, um, that um, bothers me, that takes up my energy. And um, the, the message here is to let go of everything and anything that isn't quite in your face at this point in time and literally begin to focus on what is right in front of you and how to achieve it best. Because when the idea about it, when you have a, a square, yeah, if that makes sense. A square in astrology is not a good thing. <laughs> it denotes tension, it denotes difficulties. And that's the first thing I'm hearing for you, Leos. March 2023 may not be a super easy month. Hence the idea of looking at things that are sort of you know, have a little of a, of a, almost like a tunnel vision. It will aid you very well this month just to focus on what is right in front of me. What is it that I ought to look at right now? And what is it that distracts me from it? There should be no distractions. Do your thing, go forward, understand that your imprint is, is Leo. So therefore your energy that is uh, associated with your sign is that of a male lion. Um, um, you wouldn't mess with one. Conversely, the lion needs quite a bit of me time and space, right? So, so stress is not something Leo um, is dealing with very well <laughs> at times. Uh, but that's fine, you know. Uh, that's why you have the strengths. Um, yeah. And the point is, just look at what's right in front of you and then really just... I think the term is probably to assess where you are in life, but then also quite quickly move on from that. Because knowing where you are could probably just bring, uh, you know, this being a square, could, could put, bring a bit more frustration. So don't linger on what's happening where you are in life. Look at where am I going? What is it I want? What is in my frame of vision, so to speak, um, that I could pursue it uh, um, wholeheartedly? Okie dokie, that is that. Now I'm drawn to my cards. And now we're looking at your emotional core. Let's have a look. <laughs> yeah, okay. That, that is actually powerful, but a lot of work. <laughs> With regards to your emotional core, you have exploration and the number 11. 
So number 11 is a master number. It's the highest number there is. It's a, it's a, it's the same double digit number. In numerology, only 11 and 22 are master numbers because only they would fit into a calendar. Be this as it may, you have the number 11 and exploration. When it comes to your emotions, I don't see Leo in Mars needing to let go of a lot of stuff. What that means is if it happens, it happens. Just don't stop it, right? Allow everything to happen. But your focus should be on exploring. Again, seems to be the theme here for you. Um, on what it is you really want. And because you have the number 11, you have a much better chance. Sounds horrible. <laughs> of coming across nicely. That doesn't mean you're not nice, but right? Finding the right words and, you know, trying to, if you're trying to impress someone, which is all, you know, to be fair, you know, every time you go, you go for, for a date, you, you put on your best shirt, you are the nicest version that you can possibly be, right? So they're not knocking it. All they're saying is also understand that, that in March, your charm will be something else. Doesn't mean you have to pull the, put the charm on, Point being for your emotional core, if you want to go somewhere and if you want to make your love life more fulfilling or manifest a love life, you should first have a look in the relationship I'm in. Is that actually working? What can be tweaked? If you're not in a relationship, rather than saying like, oh, for fuck's sake, I'm not in a relationship, right? Go for it, right? Give that, 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 that guy or that girl uh, a call that you think about, right? Let them know how you feel, right? What's the worst that can happen? Rejection, big deal, right? So understand that with your with your emotional core. Uh, this month, it's not about not so much about reflecting and healing. It's about um, to boldly go where no man has gone before, right? If that makes sense. So Leo, do just that. And then lastly, we're looking at your opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of March. I'm just gonna sip a coffee. I love my coffee. Speaking of coffee, I know I said it already. If you like my work, you can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. Do it now. Anyway, you ready for your uh, opportunities, Leo? <clears throat> Here we go. That is quite an undertaking. Opportunities are far and wide in between. But the way the energy flows here is the only way for Leo in March 2023 to get somewhere is to say it. So if someone promised you, yeah, well, you know, um, we're doing this and we're doing this. This month is like, where is the office you said I'm going to get? Right. Where are the opportunities to go abroad that you said I'm going to get? Right. So don't be in a position at all where you're just hanging about, see where things are going. So opportunities, while they're not numerous in March, are much easier to manifest and to get when you remember who you are and say to people, where I am, I feel stagnant, right? I want to change this. What's the story? Okay, so that's how that works. Leos. That's all we got this month. Thank you so much for, for watching. Um, please like, subscribe and share. And I see you all in the next month. All right. See you later.